श्री समाजा जोबा जी अवर एम पी राज्यसभा संबित पात्रा जी द प्रभारी एंड इंचार्ज ऑफ मणिपुर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मयांगो खुरुमजरी वी आर हेयर टू रिलीज द मैनिफेस्टो ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम विश्वजीत ऑल्सो हु एज कम एंड प्लीज टेक योर सीट ऑन द डायस it is indeed a matter of proud privilege for me to be here today on the occasion of release of manifesto of uh, manipur bharatiya janata party and the commitment which bharatiya janata party is giving for the next 5 years how do we go forward uh, as far as manipur is concerned we all know that it has got uh, uh, it's a, it's a land of uh, very positive vibes and it has got immense energy lot of positivity we find here the manipur has got the potential of uh, okay. abundance of talent it has got the capability also and we all know that it is the gateway of the development gateway of north east and the gateway for development of north east that we all understand but friends Manipur has uh, seen a sea change in the last 5 years under the dynamic leadership of uh, N Biren Singh ji and his team members all of them have done a wonderful job and i can say with confidence that Manipur has seen a sea change as far as development is concerned and i, I we should also remember that manipur has undergone a change from instability to stability and from stability to the big leap and it is on the higher side of the leap today where it is going forward and with this commitment i can assure you that we will be ensuring a very big leap of development in coming times but we are today on the higher side of the leap and we have taken the lead when i say so i also want to make it very clear here that uh, manipur has undergone from instability to stability from insurgency to peace from divisive politics to a united bjp and united manipur we have we have seen fake encounters and now there is rule of law we have seen a drug menace now we have seen that the state is committed for zero tolerance for drugs it was a stage when manipur was considered it was synonym of commission and corruption today it is good governance which is ruling uh, the the manipur state the manipur state was known for blockades and bans now it is known for development for peace for prosperity and for coming forward and it is also known for sports also friends when i talk about these developments i can show you the change from insurgency to peace from instability to stability from develop, from uh, non development non performance to performance all this has taken care well, all this has seen has been seen by the state of manipur now when i come here i also come here with a the with a report card now this also represents the the culture of bhartiya janata party and the form of good governance which we have shown none of the parties none of the political parties ever dared to show their report card it is only bhartiya janata party and you remember that last last month it was uh, n biren singh ji who released this report card it is in black and white that means we believe in what we say and what what is our commitment that is why 
when I talk about the manifesto today, this means that this manifesto is not a piece of paper. This manifesto means commitment of Bharatiya Janata Party in the next five years to do in Manipur this year. That is the reality. And as far as other political parties are concerned, we all know that they, for them it's a mere piece of paper. Every time they come out with commitments in a new way. But as far as the performance is concerned, we all know what they have provided and what we have, what they have given to us. Friends, when we go for a commitment, it is not a commitment uh, shown by just uh, five people sitting and, and going through uh, the, the, the uh, details and modalities of, uh, of uh, uh, coming out with the manifesto. It has been done with due consultation, with due interactions and with due diligence. And that is why I am proud to say that approximately uh, in all the 60 constituencies we had the consultation. We received, you have seen the documentary also now the, which I have shown, 1.2 lakh aspirations were, were collected and, a, and the discussion took place with all the communities and all the sections of the society, all the sections of the society. And then we are coming out with this manifesto that we have to understand. Here also I would like to uh, tell you that we have talked about the empowering of the women. This is the focus area. Empowering of the women, empowering of the youth, empowering of these farmers and supporting the poor, marginal, deprived people who are the left outs. They are being strengthened. That is the focus area. And for all this, to provide infrastructure to boost economy. This is what we are trying to see today. And when we talk about farmers, when we talk about youth, when we talk about uh, women, when we talk about the left outs, the area of focus will be infrastructure, health, education. These are the areas where we are going to uh, focus and go forward. First of all, the manifesto has got many highlights and uh, many good things, but uh, we start with the uh, the preservation and commitment for the territorial integrity, along with that, they preserve the rights of the indigenous people of Manipur. It's their cultural heritage, their historical heritage, all that has to be preserved, and their uh, rights of the indigenous people, that is our commitment. We commit that we will be providing uh, two free LPG cylinders to Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana beneficiaries, two, two extra uh, free of cost uh, LPGs. This is again empowering the women. This is again empowering the poor. This is again empowering the left outs. The same way as I talked about education, we are going to provide free scooty to all meritorious college going girls of the state. Now, scooty and moped, this is empowering the, the women, empowering the female section of the society, making them uh, stand for, the, for, for their education and go forward in a, in a big way. So this is our commitment. The same way, girls from the economically weaker sections and the backward sections will be given an incentive of 25,000. Uh, 25,000 for, for their education and for their development. Again, we will be distributing and we will be providing uh, free laptops to all meritorious students passing class 12th and support them for higher education. Now this itself means providing tablets, providing free laptops. This is again uh, for uh, a gateway for the higher education of these of these students and giving and facilitating them that we have to understand the same for the social sector we have decided I'm just talking about the highlights the details will get it but I'm talking about the social sector we are going to increase the monthly pension of the senior citizens and who are the uh, who are the beneficiaries from today's 200 to 1000 that is what we are going to do and a financial uh, uh, support to the farmers 
in the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, which they are getting 6,000 per year in, with three installments in a year to 2,000. Manipur state will top up with another 2,000, so they will be getting 8,000 per year. That is what we are going to buy. The same way, free of cost, accidental insurance will be given to, five, uh, to the tune of 5 lakh uh, to the all fishermen of the state. That is what we have tried to do. Then the scholarships will be given to all children of small and marginal farmers and landless farmers. Now, 